Okay, here we have the Verna Radial, five cylinder engine. Let's have a bit of a look and we'll see what we can make of it here. Right, so here's the cylinder heads. I don't know what they are, but they haven't got much fitting on them at all. They don't look particularly handsome. I don't know what that hose is doing, but it's a drain. Parallel push rods here and clearly a cast iron VW cylinder. Coming around the side here, we've got an exhaust port. Got an exhaust port here. And we've got one spark plug here. We've got an intake pipe made of plastic, which is curious. And the air cylinder head only appears to have just the one spark plug, so one ignition system. Uh, coming around this side, we've got two M8 cap screws holding a plastic flange. And as I said, that's clearly a plastic intake pipe, which you'd think if... Uh, you had an exhaust failure, assuming the exhaust was fa facing rearwards, that could be a problem. It feels quite thin too. Around the front of the engine there, it's direct drive. We've got an oil filter on the side. Fairly rough casting. You can see there. Got hoses jutting out here. Looping back around here. Looks like we've got an oil pressure switch on the side. We've got five ears for the engine mounts there. Some rubber cushions. And what appears to be a single point fuel injection, electronic fuel injection there with a conical filter. Looks like something from eBay, I'm not sure what that is. And then we've got in front of that some sort of casting with some uh, looks like a plenum, it's a plenum chamber for the five cylinders and then what's curious is in front of that is a is a pulley that's going up to this pulley here. That fan belt runs along the, the back of the engine. So we can sneak in there. And it goes down to in front of that blue thing. You just see the pulley in the middle there. And that's driving a uh, an impala. So that's the induction impala. That's a uh, belt driven from the engine using a fan belt. And then down below we've got a, a starter motor. Got a starter motor there and obviously a plug here for the EFI or something. A few sensors there. And again on the rear of the head, some fins, not that many and fairly asymmetric in by design. That's actually facing forwards that port and then looping around like a like a like a cane. tunnel through there and some sort of ground adjustable warp drive prop now on this side of the engine get a good look at the starter motor I've got a sensor on the single point injector get a good look at that pulley through there see there and then you can see it running down to that blue manifold there and that's obviously got some sort of fan I'd imagine it's clearly a fan belt driving something in there so I could only imagine it's a fan again the VW cylinders unusual fitting I guess that's what happens when you you try to adapt you know items off other engines you sort of have to make compromises clearly there's an aesthetic compromise anyway that's the that's the Verna five-cylinder